Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my Shop My Stash, finally. It needs to be <laughs> done. Um, I thought I would do it a different way this time um, because my Shop My Stash area is everything that's in this container. And I need to like, I don't know, reorganize this whole area and clean it. And I thought I'd do like, a brush declutter because these containers are like jam-packed and there's a lot of brushes that I never even use so I think this will be like a I don't know clean with me shop my stash makeup reset type video it's probably going to be very long so I'll just get started and yeah I'll start with the shop my stash um, bin because that's really what we're here for so um, this thing here I hope you can see should I zoom in more oh dear okay so this Ofra oh how do I do this <laughs> this Ofra on the glow palette I was looking at this one day and I was like why is that in there and I couldn't figure it out because it wasn't in any of my projects and I couldn't remember like what like product in here I'm supposed to be working on but then I remembered it's because I rolled this in one day because I realized I didn't have any powder bronzers in my shop my stash so I rolled this randomly I got the Americano bronzer um, so I've used this palette before. I think it was in a project recently for um, the blush here, California Dream Triangle. This this is that. There's a plastic um, on top of this. Um, yeah, and I've used the Americano bronzer before, and I really like this palette. It has the blissful highlighter. The Beverly Hills highlighter and the Rodeo Drive and this Egyptian clay. I haven't touched that yet, but yeah, um, I did use this I think only once like since bringing it in, but I'm gonna put it back because like I said It's not in any project and I couldn't even remember why it was there. <laughs> oh I brought a Swiffer <laughs> because these, everything here is like covered in dust. It's so sad because I haven't been like, I don't know, rotating enough. So anyway, next thing is this Aether Beauty uh, Crystal Charged Cheek Palette in Rose Quartz. This is a Shop My Stash product. By the way, if you're new here, the reason I distinguish between what's actually in my shop my stash <laughs> is because I have like my panning products in here too um, that'll make more sense as we go um, so this is the blush palette I really like this it's very subtle like even the blushes are not well, kind of like creating a shadow over everything even the blushes are like not very super vibrant but they're really pretty on the skin and this um, can be used like as a blush lighter type product and yeah I really like this I'm going to put it away because it's not in a project I'm pretty sure <laughs> oh these lashes I did not use and they're full of dust as you can see so these are from the Michaela Pat 2 collection, the Daydreamer um, lashes from Glamlike, by the way. Um, yeah, they look like this. And I think these are even the more subtle <laughs> of the two. I just don't, I don't wear lashes. I keep trying to, but it doesn't happen. I should keep these in just to force myself to try them on. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay, these will stay. This ColourPop quad, I just rolled this into my deck of panning, so that's gonna stay. I haven't used it yet. Um, this is the Might As Shell 
quad. I'll show you without the box. I don't even know why I have it in the box. I guess I just thought it was cute. These are the shades, very pretty. And it's this Super Shock Highlighter Formula. So I'm excited to use that. This is also staying my Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duo in Cosmic Coral. It's really pretty. I hate the opening of these. Looks like this. Um, yeah, this, I think I don't have much more to go with this, but it's going to stay because it's in my whole collection project. So is this um, Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin something blush in the shade Golden Hour. I think this one is close to being done too. It's a really pretty like vibrant coral, which is not like a fall shade for me at all, but I'll get my uses on it. These next three products are also sting. <laughs> This is still kicking my MAC um, Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Double Gleam. I don't know why I opened that. You could have saw <laughs> the shade before, but this is how it's looking. These are very hard pressed if you're not familiar. So even though I've used this quite a few times, it still looks brand new. That staying. So is this um, mini hard candy highlighter in rose gold. I really like this. I've mentioned several times. So I just swirl all the, you know, the whole pan and it's like a really pretty rose gold shade. That's thing. In. This, I thought I reached my goal on this. This Tem2 Liquid Glow, I'm pretty sure I did, but it was after I filmed that, I filmed my update. Yeah, so this will not be in my Shop My Stash anymore. Let me double check. Yeah, so this I only had a 5 use goal on it and I just um, used it for the fifth time the other day. So I'm going to put this away, but it'll be back when I do my next... Um, I don't know if I said deck of panning or whole collection. It's in my whole collection, project pan. And I'm already, like, normally I would keep it in my shop, my stash. Um, even though I met my goal, like, until my update. But I'm already working on so many highlighters, as you'll see. So, I'm going to put this back. Let's go to the lip products, I guess. So my Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit lip gloss, that's in my whole collection and I haven't reached my goal yet, so that's staying. This can be put away. This is just a regular Shop My Stash product. This is the Peach Surprise, what are these called? Just a Tint, I think. Um, these like little lip crayons from ColourPop in the Animal Crossing collection and I I think I only used this once or twice but it's totally like a color I would just throw on at any time so of course I'm going to keep that um, but I can put that away. Same with this Colourpop Hello Kitty. Um, it's like a tinted lip balm. Oh the focus. Um, it looks like this and I used this once or twice also. This one is the shade Tropic Cutie. So that's a very summery product. Um, this is also a Shot My Stash MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Pagoda. This is super old, but it still works fine and it doesn't smell weird or anything. And I really like the shade. Normally these like milky pink colors I don't like them because they settle in my lines of my lips, but the formula of this one doesn't seem to do that. Maybe because it has like some shimmer in it. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's really pretty. So I'm going to put this back in my collection. This is staying my Lethal Cosmetics. 
I always forget the name. The, it's the Lumen Lip Gloss, but the shade is Nova. Uh, this is one of my favorite lip glosses in my collection, but it's staying because it's in a project. And I think I'm, I only have to use it one more time. So yeah, that probably won't be around. I mean, it won't be in this area much longer, but that's staying for now. And this can be put away, my Tarte Tulip Amazonian Butter Lipstick. I don't think they make these anymore, and I really like this. It's very sheer, but it's a really pretty shade, um, especially like in the spring and summer. I think that's the point, that's why it's called Tulip. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna put that back. Let's go back up here. So I had one lip liner. I was just thinking, why do I only have one? Maybe, I think because I had another one, but it, whoops. I had another one, but it was in a project and I met my goal. Anyway, this Dominique Cosmetics Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner in the shade Crush. I think I said when I rolled this in that I wasn't sure about it um, because it's one of these like triangle shapes, but as you can see, as you use it, I mean, it's not a triangle <laughs> anymore, but I actually really like that. And I've like kind of learned how to use it in the shape that it's in. And I love the shade. It's like very neutral and goes with pretty much everything. So, and it is creamy, but not too creamy. It could be like, if I'm being really picky, it's on like the too creamy <laughs> side of things. You can't even see it. Um, but I still really like it. I'm gonna put it away. I actually use quite a bit of it. I don't think you can tell on camera. Like if I roll it all the way down, there's like a good centimeter of the product gone. Like it used to be, you know, flush with the tip. So yeah, happy with my progress on that. I'm just gonna put this away right now because my lip container, my lip liner container, which you'll see better in a bit, is right here. Um, this Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow, I love the shade of this, but it's not a product like I reach for. Um, I just don't reach for shadow sticks. I probably should try because they seem to be like all the rage right now. Um, it's just a very deep, rich shade. So I've only been using it as an eyeliner. And because it's um, waterproof, it actually is a really good eyeliner for the waterline. Um, but you have to be careful because of, it's not really made for that. So, you know, it's not a fine tip. So anyway, I think I could just sharpen it though. There's a sharpener on the end. Yeah. But I'm gonna put this away because like I've used it an appropriate amount for what I would use a product like this for. So yeah, that can go back. It's not in a project. Uh, my concealers, these two of these are in projects. So this one, the Rose Ink, what is this called? Just concealer, it's written. Um, I just rolled this in to whole collection project, I think. Ugh, I'm getting confused. Um, yeah, I don't like the shade of this. I tried it as a spot concealer too, and it's still like yellow for my face skin. <laughs> so, I don't know. I might pass this on. I might give this to my mom because she has like a more warmer skin tone than me. This is in my whole collection project for 10 uses and I've used it once. Okay, I'll I'll reach my goal and then I'll pass it on. But so anyway, it's staying in here for now. This can be put away my Fenty Bright Fix Eye Brightener in the shade Seashell. I love this and yeah, I've used it quite a bit. It's especially good for like no makeup makeup days because it's like not really a concealer, although it's pretty good coverage considering it's just like a, supposed to be like an eye brightener. 
but yeah i really like that product it's really good like like i said for no makeup makeup or when I, i'm wearing like a sheer skin tint and i don't want to put like a matte concealer because then you see like where the line is you know anyway this is my maybelline age rewind eraser dark circles version this is in a project so it's staying and I, I like this too actually this has good coverage i can use it on my under eyes and my face like if i don't use too much of it so yeah staying um my milani green goddess setting spray i just rolled this in to a project so that's staying this one i can put back it's another milani these are the only two Milani setting sprays I have and they're both here right now. But this is the Make It Dewy. It's just a mini setting spray. Um, I should probably just finish this at some point, but I'd say it's still like probably more than half full. And I lost the cap. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to put that back in my setting spray container. This um, Viseart Petite Pro, the original, I don't think I used this at all. And I honestly forgot that it was in here a couple of times. I think I should keep this in because this is a very fall palette to me. And I need to get at least one use on it. To remind myself about the formula this can be put away my ColourPop animal crossing collab the nook ink quad it's very pretty i wore this a few times and i really like it it's beautiful <laughs> putting that away um this is not in a project i believe yeah, this is not in a project, the Benefit Mini Krista blush. Um, I thought I would like this more than I do. Like when you look at this, it looks like a very like neon coral, but it doesn't go on the skin that way. And it has like shimmer in it. Maybe that's why, I don't know. But I like it enough to keep it. Um, it's just like not a favorite in my collection. This Tarte um, Breezy Cream Bronzer Mini, I'm going to put this away because it's not in a project and I've used it actually quite a bit. Um, I really like this. So putting that back in my collection. This product, it's dusty. <laughs> this Artist Couture. This is like a little mini of their highlighter. Um, it's a loose, it's called Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Conceited. It's a really pretty shade, but I'm gonna declutter this because I'm, I mean, I can't get a highlighter brush in there. I like to apply highlighter with like a fan brush or a big fluffy brush and it just doesn't work. And the shade is a bit too deep for me, if you can see. It's like very uh, gold, coppery, I don't know. Um, and then I thought like, well, maybe I'll use it as an eyeshadow. Um, no, I never use my loose eyeshadows. And I actually have a similar shade from Makeup Forever that's actually like meant to be an eyeshadow. So I'm going to declutter this. Yeah, I only used it once I think and it was brand new when I rolled it in so someone will get someone I know will get a well a mini full-size highlighter um, another highlighter here the milk makeup stardust is it called um, holographic stick no it's called supernova <laughs> yes I really like this I mentioned in my whole collection update right 
So I haven't reached my goal yet on this, so it's staying. Actually, I only have to use this one more time, so you probably won't see this again. Um, but yeah, just know it's very good. I love it. Two more things here. My cheek slime from Freck Beauty in the shade Fever Dream. This is also in my whole collection project. Yeah, it's staying even though it's like very summer blush in my opinion, but I haven't met my goal on it yet. So keeping that in. And this Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer Stick in the shade Power Boost. I think this is my favorite cream bronzer in my collection. And I love the packaging. I mentioned, oh, even though it's messy. <laughs> I mentioned in my video, my last update, my deck of panning, I believe it's in, that it clicks when you close it. I love it. And I love the shade and it blends out super easily. Um, I'm gonna clean this because that really bothers me. So that is staying. I actually only have three more uses for that, so. Yeah, a lot of things are staying, but not for much longer. So we still have some room here. And this desperately needs a dust. Oh, I forgot a product was hiding behind the lashes. The Hourglass um, Dim Infusion Blush. This is also in my deck of panning. And yeah, I actually think it's really pretty, so. That's another blush <laughs> that's staying in here. So that was my Shop My Stash. I also have some Shop My Stash products over here in my eyeshadow thingy. So let me show you that. Oh, there's the products I'm putting back. Wow. And I don't know what I'm doing, I guess. <laughs> Okay, my Harry Potter ColourPop palette that is in a project, so that's staying. Um, then some of these are in, whoop, some, they're dusty. They're in my Pando's Eyeshadows project, which is another project. Um, this giant elf 100 color palette that I can't even fit in the frame, that's staying. Um, this palette is in my deck of panning, the Eloise the Queen palette. I need to use this like three more times, so that's staying. This is also in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project, the Nude Prism palette from Lunar Beauty. I love this palette. Um, the angle is very bad. Um, that's what it looks like. That's staying. The Dominique Latte palette is also in my pen those eyeshadows. So that's staying. Actually, I'm very excited to use this for the fall because it's like coffee themed and there's a pumpkin spice <laughs> shade right here. So yeah, just very fall themed. Then my Master Palette by Mario from ABH. This is also in that project, so this is staying. And I really like this for fall too, so that's fun. This is the only palette here that I can put away. My uh, Flora Story Palette from Odin's Eye and Makeup Just for Fun. I only used this once. I mean, not because I didn't, I only wanted to use it once, but look at all the other palettes I have in rotation. Um, I was wearing the look in a video in my Sephora haul, I think. Um, and I used these four shades. You can't even see. I used the first four shades to create like a very light green look. And I liked it, but this shade here, um, Shroom, it looks like it's gonna be a really good transition shade, but on the eye, it's so light. Like it barely showed up on my skin tone. 
And that's the only kind of like transition-y shade in the palette. So I don't know, this might be a palette like I have to pull in other things when I use it again, but it's still really pretty. I love the green and the purple like together. So yeah, I'm gonna put that back. I'm just happy I finally used one of the palettes because I did buy the whole collection and I haven't used the other two yet. Then the Too Faced Shaker Pom Poms. I'm not gonna go on about this again, but as you might know, if you saw my other videos, it's staying because it's in my whole collection project. And this little quad from e.l.f. This is in my Pan Those Eyeshadows, so that's staying. So I only have one slot for a, like another fall palette, I guess, that I can put here. Um, so yeah, we'll see what that is. What else? I guess let's just continue with this top. Since we're here already, let me fix the camera. So these containers, this is um, cream product brushes, and these are my eyeshadow brushes, and this is a MAC lip vault that has full of um, Velvet Teddy products, if you didn't know. So I just keep it there because it's so cute um, and it fits. So what should I do? Okay, I guess we're doing a declutter now. I really didn't plan this, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. But I also need to wash my brushes, so let me pull out the brushes that I need to wash, which is obviously these. Maybe this one? That one's okay. These are from the Glam Light collab, the Michaela Pat 2 that I showed you the lashes from. Um, they're very long, like they're the longest brushes in my collection. I only use them when I used that palette, that's why they're all green. Um, but I would like to use them, you know, with other things. I just think I don't reach for them because they're green and I don't want to, you know, get green in my other shadows. So I'm going to put those aside to wash. Um, what else needs to be washed? I mean, probably this, because it's yellow. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is a Moda brush from Royal and Lime Nickel, probably a set that I got from BoxyCharm. This I'm gonna declutter. I never use these like flat concealer brushes. I don't need that anymore. Some of these are, I mean, I probably should wash them, but they're brown and I use them. Like this is my, obviously my transition shade brush. <laughs> you can tell from the color and the shape, that's just what I use it for. So yeah, I'm just mainly looking for ones that are clearly a color that I need to wash. Okay, this one, this MAC. Um, 219. I use this for my lower lash line mostly. That can be washed. I never use this Luxie Flat Angled Blender. It's just, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm supposed to use this for because it's very dense. Like, would you put, would you blend eyeshadow with this? I don't think I need this. I'm gonna put it aside and think about it. Um, I guess everything else here serves a purpose. Like even this, um, this is just like a really cheap brush from Forever 21. Um, but I use this to, like when I get mascara um, on my eyelid or <laughs> under my eyes, I brush it off with this. And I use this sometimes to comb my mascara if it gets too clumpy. So that serves a purpose. What's this? I never use this. 
Maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know, it's very dense. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready to do like a full declutter of these. And this container is actually not that bad. Like, I know what's in here pretty much. So, yeah, I might come back to that. I only am decluttering these two, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah. And then washing those other ones. And then the cream, so the cream brush. What am I trying to say? These brushes are for cream products. And there is something here that I know. This is dusty AF. Let me get my Swiffer. So this, I've, I don't think I've ever used it. It's one of these. Um, yeah. This, though, I'm going to put this in my craft supply area because I've seen, well, these are, if you know anything about like card making, um, stamping, ink blending type um, crafting, these are the brushes you use like for ink blending. Um, and I saw, but even though like this is a black one, because normally you get the color coded ones and you blend your ink so you don't mix your inks together. Anyway, long story. <laughs> but I saw people use these as like stamp cleaners and that's gonna be perfect because I actually need that. And I never use this for my face, so yeah, that's gonna go with my craft supplies. This I use, this needs to be washed, but I do use things like this for, um, like, um, what am I trying to say? Like glowy primers that I want to like blend out more seamlessly. Um, this one is just an e.l.f. angled foundation brush. So I like it for that. I don't use this very often. This Bare Minerals brush. It has a, oh my God, that's so dusty. But it has a, <laughs> a hole because this is a brush that's supposed to go with their serum foundation. I don't even know if they still make it, but you put the foundation like in the hole and then you're meant to blend it I think I want to try that and see if I like it, and if not, then I'll declutter this brush. I think I got it from BoxyCharm. Um, everything else here I use all the time. This is my favorite brush right now. This Sculpt um, bronzing brush from LYS. It's just like the perfect shape and like density, and I love it with my Rare Beauty bronzer stick. What's this? Oh yes, I like this too. My e.l.f. Um, this is for applying the putty primer. It has like a spatula and then a blender. I really like that. What's this? I don't know if I'll use this very much. This Luxie foundation brush. I don't use flat foundation brushes. I think I'm going to pass this on too. This is a concealer brush, um, which is why it's in this container, not in my eye. This one? <laughs> Maybe it should be though, because I never see it. Oh, okay, I'm putting it in the eye thing. What is this doing there? Large eye blending. That's in the wrong container. That's going in the eye one. This is another one of my favorite brushes, the Rare Beauty Concealer Brush. I use this like all the time, so that's staying. This brush, I should take this out of the packaging. This is to apply the putty blush. So yeah, I don't know why I'm keeping it in here because I don't need to use it specifically for the putty blush. Like I have other blushes that are a similar formula. So yeah, I'm gonna just take that out of the packaging and hopefully use it. Here's another one of these. I'm never, 
I don't need this. The BH Cosmetics 111. Like I, I've had this for years and I've never used it, so I don't need it. What's this? This looks fun. Oh, complexion. I think I just got this from BoxyCharm from Half Caked. This is more like the type of foundation brush that I like if I'm going to use a brush. Um, but I also really like my Rare Beauty one. And I love this Sephora <clears throat> 47. I think this is meant to be a foundation brush. Yeah, foundation, it says. But I use it for cream blush. Should I wash this? Probably. <laughs> okay, that's going in the wash pile. I think everything else here I'm good with. Yep. I use, oh, I don't really use this, which is a shame because it costs a lot of money. This is another one I'm gonna try and use to see if I like before decluttering the MAC 141S. This was released with their, when they came out with the Next to Nothing foundation. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is cracking. It's very early in the morning <laughs> when I'm filming this. Our internet isn't working for some reason, so I decided it was a good time to film a video. Anyway, um, yeah, the next to nothing, like serum foundation, you were meant to apply with this, and I decluttered that, so I should find another way to use it, I guess. But yeah, that's good. So yeah, it's still pretty full, but I use a lot of cream products, so those are some of my most used brushes. Okay, so I think now we'll move to my um, everyday makeup drawer because I think there's some things in there that are actually, they're probably all in projects. But anyway, I'll show you just so you know what's in there. And then I'll pick some products from my stash and I'll show you that too. And yeah. Anyway, just keep watching if you're still here. Okay, so here is my everyday makeup drawer. Um, it usually looks the same, so I won't, you know, spend too much time on this, hopefully. I have my Tatcha the Pearl, as usual. This will last me my entire lifetime. It's looking like this. I have been using this a lot. Sorry, the, the packaging is so glary. Okay, that's not wanting to focus at all. Well, anyway, that's my <laughs> touch of the pearl. I have been using this a lot because I haven't been wearing foundation much during the summer because it's been like, either it's like a heat wave or it's pouring rain. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Even as I'm filming this, it's September 9th and like our heat wave just broke like today. So yeah, I'm trying to get into the fall spirit now. I've already decorated my house for fall, <laughs> even though we were in a heat wave. But anyway, this is just a rose ointment. Okay, this focusing is not gonna work, is it? It doesn't wanna focus on anything. So, Okay, maybe I just won't do that. Anyway, that's just a, a ointment, like a, I'll just show you. <laughs> I don't know what else to, it's like one of these, like a bomb, like a bomb to oil type thing. And I use this when I have like an itchy spot or a dry skin patch or when my cuticles get really dry. That's why I keep it um, here. It's from Young Living, the rose ointment, if I didn't say. I have my mascaras up here. I just opened this Ilia one and I really liked it so far. This one is on its way out, the Fenty. That's been open really long and it's getting dry. Um, so is this Charlotte Tilbury Dream Pop. And this is my waterproof mascara that's still working fine. And my nude eyeliner from Tarte 
that I reach for quite often just lives in this drawer in this e.l.f. makeup pen that I never use. <laughs> but it stays there. And my eye primers, of course, my Urban Decay I use every time I do my eyeshadow. And this NYX Glitter Primer, I keep meaning to use that because I see people um, using that when they apply just like metallic shadows and it makes them pop and like last longer or whatever, but I just never think of it. Um, this Dr. Jart, I think I'll keep this in my everyday makeup drawer because I can use this whenever, um, yeah, it's not focusing. It's the Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. It's green and it has SPF 30. So sometimes I use this all over the face as like my complexion product. It doesn't have much coverage. It, it's very slightly color correcting because of the color, but like if you really want to, you know, cover any blemishes, you would have to put concealer on top. At least that's how I've felt using this product. Um, but I think I'll keep this in because sometimes I just like, like I said, when I'm just running out the door, but I want to put some SPF and maybe like even out any redness, I'll use this. I don't love it though, um, but I'm using it because I have it. It's just a mini size. I'm glad I didn't get the big size because yeah, I'm not loving it as much as I thought I would. Um, this lip balm, however, I thought I was going to finish this, but I've been trying to finish this for literal years. So... <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to pull lip balms now because I have way too many lip balms. If you saw my last video, I just ha I just brought three new lip balms into my already big lip balm collection. So it's now a category in my Tiny Decisions app. So I'm going to roll for lip balm now. So I'm going to put this one away. I really like this though, the Pure Lease. Daily Lip Nourisher with Mango and Shea Butter. And I also use this for when I'm trying on liquid lipsticks and I need to remove them. Did you know you could remove liquid lipsticks with lip balm? <laughs> I mean, as long as they're like oil based, like this one has Mango and Shea Butter and Jojoba and Rice Bran Oil. So like it immediately removes liquid lipstick. And then at the same time, you get a nice nourished lip after. So there's my tip for you today. But I'm going to put that away. Um, this lives in here too. I'm trying to use this up. The Bite Beauty Line and Define Lip Primer. I just keep forgetting about it. But it honestly is very... Like that's all that's left. I think this is a mini, so... Just trying to use that up. I have to remember to use this when I apply drier lip products because it does kind of work, I think. Um, this Wander Beauty Dual Lipstick, this is in a project, so that's staying. So is this Odin's Eye Ripe Papaya Matte Lip Stain. And so is this Sephora Cream Lip Stain. This Pure Lease Ageless Glow is staying. This is in my whole collection project and I like it, so that's good. This, I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's time to get rid of this. There's this much left, but it's long been expired. It's the Drunk Elephant Unpretend Physical Daily Defense SPF 30. So the SPF is no longer useful and I don't know what else to do with this because I tried mixing it in or like using it as a glowy primer and it's fine but it's not meant for that. So like if you touch your face after you remove the tint of this so and for that reason I can't use it on my body because it'll get all over my clothes. Yeah, this is going in my empties. 
I just decided that. I thought I would keep it around to the end of the year and see if I use it some more, but I think I'm done. It expired. It expired in 2020. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't need that anymore. And besides, I have actual like working SPFs like this one. <laughs> so, and two others in my bathroom. So that's fine. Um, my battery's gonna die. So let me change it and I'll be back. Okay, so over here I have my Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation that's in a project, but it will be decluttered at the end of the year because it's just ancient. Um, this product I forgot about. It was in my whole collection project and I didn't have it in my Excel sheet, so I forgot about it. Um, so now I have three powders in here that are all in projects, but this is the Ciate Everyday Vacay. I did use this once or twice and I liked it. So for the purpose that I use powder, which if you see my videos is just like around my nose. So yeah, that's that. Um, this one is almost on its, well, it's almost out of my project because I'm reaching my goal the KVD Locket Setting Powder. I like this one too. And this one I just rolled in, the Peach Perfect from Too Faced. I've never used this, but I've had it for years. It still has the seal on it, so I hope it's still good. Anyway, they don't even make this anymore, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's another powder that is staying in here. Then my two brow products that I rolled into my whole collection, my NYX Lift and Snatch and my Rose Ink Clear Brow Gel, which by the way, I've been loving this so far. Um, I love the applicator. It's like a big fluffy, almost like a mascara wand. And at first I wasn't sure, but I really like it. So yeah, and it's like a dry, gel not like a shiny crispy gel um this is in a project too so that's staying this metalist liquid shadow duo from touch and soul and i just rolled this into my shot no to my whole collection my vdl lumi layer primer um which is also expired but there's no spf in it and I haven't noticed like a smell change or a formula change. But last time I did my makeup, I did get a hive. So I don't know if it was from this. If I if that happens again, I'm gonna declutter that. Um, and then this is just like tools, um, mirror, makeup tape, my color switch, my sponge that I don't like, <laughs> um, this concealer sponge. I never use this. I should just, like when I wet my sponge, I should wet both of these and then actually use this one because I feel like I don't use it because I never dampen it. And then my beauty blender thingy that I never use either. <laughs> Which I, I want to, I just keep forgetting about it. Anyway, that's my everyday makeup drawer. So, Depending on what I pull in, maybe something else will go in here. I actually have a huge space now because I got rid of that um, Drunk Elephant product, so that's fun. Um, so let's look at, let's do like some actual shopping of the stash now. Okay, so we're on the floor now and this is the underneath of my like makeup vanity thing, whatever it's called. These are um, all my lip, well, these are all lip glosses. Then these are powder blushes. Over here, there's more lip products up here and in this drawer. And then I have more blushes and then cream blushes. Um, and the middle part is just like display items, which I think I have to think of a, like a way to reconfigure this because that's taking up a lot of room for things that I don't use. Like this Huda Beauty lip tin is, there's nothing in that. So I don't know. And that's the Barbie uh, mirror, 
which actually I'm gonna put away because I had it out for like summer because it's been like the Barbie summer, but I don't need that there now because I'm moving more towards like my hocus pocus season. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's, okay. So what I thought I would do because it's more fun for me is to pull the products randomly using my Tiny Decisions app. But I'll show you like when I go and get them. They might not even be in this area though. So we'll just see. Anyway, these Shop My Stash videos are just always all over the place for me. So yeah. So I'm pulling up my Tiny Decisions app. So I have one, two, three, I have four like actual slots for lip products in my Shop My Stash container. And of course, if they're not like fall themed enough, I'll skip them. <laughs> so here's my wheel. Bite Demi Glacé. That is a lip crayon. Yeah, that's not in this. <laughs> in this section so i'll show you that later will i remember i hope so okay next color pop moon tiara that's also not in this section so that's working out great color pop tickled pink also not in this <laughs> section so that was three Too Faced Sugar Plum Gloss? Eh, that's Christmas. Let's do another one. <laughs> Pat McGrath Labs Omi. Okay, that is actually in the drawer here. So I have another hidden lip drawer within this drawer, <laughs> which is right here. Let me see. I can show you. Yes. So I have my Pat McGrath minis right here, actually. And this is Omi. Is this the broken one? One of these is broken. Okay, no, not this one. That's the shade. Okay, this could be good. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fall. Like a deep mauve or like a mauve nude. So, yeah. That will be one. And then those other ones, I'll have to show you. They're actually all back up on the top. I didn't think that was going to be the case, but yeah. Let me move the camera again. So I said, bite demi glacé. I hope that's in here. Can you see? Okay. So by the way, I did actually, I got this um, Sephora thingy that I talked about in a video. It's so dusty. Um, and actually I have since seen these on that Teamu app, but they're like the same price. So I would rather get it from Sephora and not risk it being all smashed up when it <laughs> comes to my house. Because I don't know if you've ever ordered from Teemu, but th they stuff everything in like a small bag and there's like no packaging material. So <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm glad I got this one. They, I don't think they have it anymore, but I think it's really cute. Anyway, um, my lip crayons and things are in these drawers. It's very hard to film these videos. Let's see, is this any better? I'm hoping it's in here. Oh, I don't think it is, but the ColourPop Moon Tiara was the other thing I pulled. That's in here. I just don't remember. Oh, it's right here. So in the Daylighter lip bundle from the ColourPop um, Sailor Moon collab, it's in here 
And Monterra is the ultra glossy lip. This like peachy nude, I guess. Oh yeah, it's um those brush tip ones. But that's the shade. Yeah, I should probably use these more. I've heard like well, maybe this is like the updated formula, but the ColourPop lip like glosses and things, they don't have a very good shelf life historically. So even though that's not like a super fall <laughs> product to me, I'll pull that in. Oh, this is so not organized very well. Like I have my ColourPop, um, my Charlotte Tilbury wands in here because I don't know where else to put them. <laughs> um, maybe it's in here. No, those are eyeliners. Where's my, my lip crayons? What have I done? No, they must be in here. I really don't know where that bite product is, so <laughs> I'll have to look for that off camera. But what was the other thing I said? Okay, I remembered the other, well, I didn't remember. I had to go back and watch <laughs> my video. Um, the other thing was the ColourPop Tickled Pink, which is in this drawer. And I think it's this, yes, the ColourPop Glowing Lip. This um, was part of their last, like, uh, what do you call it? Valentine's Day collection. I think I'm not gonna pull this. It. I like this product, it's just, this is not a fall shade. So, let's try another one. Ooh, Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. That's a new product. Where did I put it? <laughs> so this was still in my new makeup drawer, but I hauled it in my Sephora haul. Um, yes, I'm excited about this. Because I've been, that's the reason I bought this. Well, one of the reasons. The other one was that there's the lip liner in the shade Iconic Nude, which I wanted to try. But I also wanted to try this Collagen Lip Bath. So, and this is the shade, this is Pillow Talk. So, um, I do have Pillow Talk in other things, but not in, you know, I've never tried this product before. So, I guess I should just, you know, <laughs> not keep it in the box anymore but yes this is fun this is these like the ones that have like a heart shape applicator and this looks like a nice fall i mean it's probably going to be very sheer on the lips but that's the shade so even though this is pillow talk like i feel like pillow talk is just not even a shade anymore it's just like a vibe. <laughs> I don't know. So that's fun. And oh, I mentioned this before too. This to me smells exactly like the Marc Jacobs lip glosses smelled. Um, so that's fun. Let me put this here. What's missing? Oh yeah, I still didn't find <laughs> the Bite Demi Glacé. I think I might have decluttered that. But I'll keep looking because it's bothering me. Okay, I found it. Um, I think the camera moved again. <laughs> um, so it's not what I thought it was, which is why I didn't... It's not the shade that I thought it was, and it's not the product. So this is the um, the liquefied lipsticks, I think they were called. I don't. They don't make them anymore. It's obviously just a little mini. Still smells good. Oh. Is that, okay, that's the shade. That doesn't seem like, that's the shade it looks like when you look at it. Yeah, I thought Demi Glacé was, um, 
a nude lip crayon, but it's not. <laughs> it's this. So um, I'm pulling this in, even though I don't know if it's supposed to look like that, but that is a fall shade, so let's do it. dust and like clean this whole thing so I'll rearrange that at the end. So those are my lip products. Um, oh I said I wanted to pull a lip balm though. So here's my new lip balm wheel. Truly Pineapple Haze. I think that's a lip mask. No, it's a lip butter. It's in the container. Let me get that. It's this here. Um, I got this from BoxyCharm and I was like, what is this? It looks like one of these whipped kind of things. Um, I think this brand is sold at Ulta, but I haven't seen it anywhere in Canada. This is the CBD Glossy Lip Butter in Pineapple Haze. I think this was in a project at some point, but I don't mind. I need to use it because it's huge. So this will be my new lip balm for the season, I guess. So now is the part where I have to think about what I'm not working on <laughs> in projects. Okay, so I need some more bronzers. Bronzers are over here. are mostly in these containers. They could be elsewhere also. <laughs> oh, see, I'm running out of space already. So this one is bronzer and brow products. And this one is bronzers and blushes. <laughs> And this one is bronzers, or just bronzer in this drawer. Just powder bronzer. You can see this here. So there's so many options. I definitely want a powder bronzer because I'm already working on the Rare Beauty bronzer stick. Bronzer's not like something I really care about the shade in the fall season like I just I guess I just don't want like a super glowy you know tan looking bronzer I feel like I need to roll because I'm having decision what's the word like when you can't decide things <laughs> there's term I don't know um let's see what I pull oh that's fun See, this is why I need to pull things, because I didn't even remember I had this. The Tarte Park Avenue Princess, right? Park Avenue Princess palette that I've never used. And it has many different shades, and I think even a highlighter. Let me get it, because it's back down in that drawer that I showed you before. I guess we're doing this more like a vlog style, because... Moving the camera around is driving me crazy. This is the the lip drawer I was telling you about. But underneath here is all my face palettes. <laughs> so the Tarte Park Avenue is over here. You see all my dust. This. Oh, this is heavy. <laughs> I got this from BoxyCharm, I'm pretty sure, and I don't, maybe I have used it actually, but I don't remember. So it has, yeah, those aren't highlighters, they're more like powders, but like for highlighting, you know, the face, but not in a glowy sense. And then there's four shades of bronzer, um, some of them are glowy, yeah. So 
This one and this one are glowy. This is probably too deep for me as a bronzer, but we'll see. And these two are matte and could be used like more for contouring. So this is fun. Okay, I'm glad I used my Tiny Decisions app because I would never have pulled for this. So that's gonna go up here. So I think we're good on the bronzer then because there's obviously more than one bronzer in that palette. Um, for blushes, I already have so many that I'm working on. Same with highlighters. I don't think I want to pull anymore because I'll just get overwhelmed. Okay, so we have bronzer, blush, highlighter, lip products, setting spray, concealer. I guess let's pull another, I was going to say complexion product, but I already am working on two. Okay, let's pull a palette, an eyeshadow palette. Actually, I know exactly what I want. So we're in my palette drawer, well, one of them, and the palette I want to use is back here. I hope it's this. Oh my god, this is very difficult to remember. Okay, please don't fall out. <laughs> uh, is it this? Yes. This Nomad Haunted Europe palette because it's time. It's spooky season coming up and I've never used this before. It's still in the box. Oops, I just dropped it. And they don't make this anymore, but I will still have fun using it like on my own time. Actually, they did just come out with a new, like, spooky theme palette, and I really want it. <laughs> I think it's called Ghost Town USA or something. Anyway, so this one, I'm going to take it out of the box and show you. So it looks like this. It has that fun, you know, what's it called? Lenticular motion or something. And then it looks like this. Very exciting. So there's more like warm fall tones on this end. And then some like fun shades over here. So yes, this is the palette I choose. This room is becoming a disaster, but I put the palette here for now. Um, I think I want to choose another palette though, because I did have two palettes in my shot my stash and I only kept the um Viseart one so let's do another one because I like palette variety this one I'm gonna roll for because again it's just fun and I love the randomness this could also be an eyeshadow single so Odin's Ivor Dandy. That's exciting. I've never used that. Odin's Ivor Dandy. Okay, that's in my other other palette drawer. So let me get that out. Let me just think though. I feel like I'm moving the camera around too much because <laughs> my makeup is all like in different places in this room. So. Let me like think of other things and then we can look at them all at the same time. So yeah, Odin's Ivory Dandy. And what else is missing? There's so much space. Well, speaking of eyeshadow singles, I should pull for some because I never reach for them. And I think I know exactly what I want. <laughs> Let me get that. Okay. It is time <laughs> to use these Hocus Pocus Trouble Brewing Super Shock Shadow Trio. So there's three shades. And I'm just going to pull all three because I can use them, you know, in different looks. I mean, together for different looks. So there's a purple. This is the shade forever bewitching 
Looks really pretty. Have I used these? I must have. Maybe I didn't. Because when I did the video on this collection, which was like not last year's but the year before, I used the palette. So I probably didn't use these. This orangey one called Dost Thou Comprehend? Love it. And this like champagne shade um, to be yours and beautiful again. Okay, maybe I use this one or did I just swatch it? It kind of looks duochrome-y. Okay, I need to see what this is. It's kind of more like a peachy shade. That's pretty. There it is. Yes, okay, this is exciting. So these three single eyeshadows will get some use, finally. Okay, let me get the Odin's Eye for Dandy palette out. So it's this one here. This is more giving me like winter vibes. Let's see the color story. Oh, no, I can make this work. It's this one. Yes. Okay, this will be fun to use as well. Okay, I still feel like there's a lot of room. Don't, these are the things I'm putting away, so don't look at that. But, I mean, there's everything in there. Bronzer, highlighter, blush, eyeshadow, concealer, my setting spray lip products. I don't know. I feel like I definitely forgot something. <laughs> okay, maybe let's go. Okay. Usually I, when I film these videos, I go in every section and I make sure that I've got something. So we already did like the lip section down there. We did the eyeshadow palettes. So let me bring you back over again <laughs> to my other desk and we'll look in my new makeup drawer because that could be fun. Usually I pull at least one thing from there. So let's do that. So this is how it's looking now. Um, it's pretty organized, but it's starting to get full again because um, of the palettes. <laughs> I don't even think I showed you guys these. Oh my god, it's very hard to film with one hand. Um, I bought this bundle from Cosmic Brushes. And let me tell you, oh my god, I can't even get it out. So I got the Delicious Delights. I think that's their new one. The Serenity and the Muse. And these were so affordable. Like, I just had to get all three. And it came from the UK. I didn't get charged any like customs or duties or anything. I will definitely be ordering from Cosmic Brushes. I mean, I haven't tried these yet, but I know people like rave about these, like the formula of this, so I'm very excited. I did already pull like too many eyeshadow palettes, but I want to show you these since we're here. But I can't do it with one hand, so I need my tripod. <laughs> I think this is the best I'm gonna do. So the Muse 20 color palette. Look at this. It's stunning. Oh, can you get it in frame? <laughs> Look at this. It looks so beautiful. I'm very excited. So I got this one. And like I said, this was a bundle. I think what happened is I really wanted the Muse palette like when it came out, but it was sold out very quickly. And I had like a notification maybe, or like I signed up for an email. I don't know. 
And then when this came back in stock, they included it in this bundle with the new release. And I was like, well, then I definitely need the bundle, <laughs> right? There's the Serenity. These are all 20 shade palettes. Ooh, this one. This one has like those fun grungy green colors. Love it. Let me know if you guys want a video on these because I definitely would like to use them. I just don't want them in my shop, my stash because they will definitely conflict with my other projects that I have going. And the Delicious Delights. I think this is more like a pastel -y one. Yeah, but it's like bright pastels. Look at this. Is that not so pretty? I love it. So those are three, three new palettes. <laughs> collection but we're not here to pull palettes I was pulling something from my new makeup drawer that's not a palette oh I did also just get this one though I have to show you this would be a good fall palette the melt Gemini the original one but they repackaged it or whatever um, I wanted this palette for over a year <laughs> it's been on my wish list and it went on sale recently so I snagged it it's beautiful look at these colors oh my god I mean you're gonna get a very grungy look no matter like which way I mean unless you only used like these two shades but it's a very green brown vibe but I love it and I'm very excited to use this as well I just have so many options so we're mainly in here to look at this like drawer here um <laughs> what am I doing okay there's some things in there that I'm saving for videos it's mostly blush and bronzer that I have in here. I should pull this. Um, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This has been in here for years, probably. <laughs> I still haven't used it. And I just got like a mini of this in that Sephora favorite set that I didn't, that I showed in that video. Um, I should just use this. So I only have one other primer that I'm working on right now, so this is fine. Um, it's going to be another glowy primer, but I'm really just curious about these. A lot of people love them, so it's finally time to use this. And it's taking up a lot of room in this drawer, so I'm going to put that in my Shop My Stash bin. The other things are setting sprays, which I'm already trying to work on that Milani one. So that might be it for this drawer, but you will see. So I have a lot of um, Give Beauty in here because I want to do a video on that. And then these blushes. I have so many blushes. Like this is when I went crazy because of that pink blush viral or whatever. And then I just bought them but didn't use them. <laughs> and now it's fall. And I don't think a bright pink blush is the vibe right now. So I'm gonna leave that. Um, yeah. And then in the back, I don't know if you can even see, there's more palettes and, um, you know, face and eyeshadow palettes. So I think I'm good with those. And this, since we're here, let me just show you. This is my highlighter drawer. But I'm already working on too many highlighters. But I have all of these. And I'm just showing you this because this is a Shop My Stash video. <laughs> I feel like I haven't actually, you know, went into the drawers. Um, but yeah, that's all I can really show you at this angle. And then this over here. 
this is what I was showing you my everyday makeup drawer. So in this desk is all makeup also. Um, but I think I'm good. I'm gonna like clean up because now I have a mess in this room. And I'm gonna put all my stuff like nicely in my shop, my stash bin. Then we'll see if I'm missing anything. And yeah, we'll do like a, a roundup at the end. So it's actually <laughs> several hours later. Um, you and I said before our internet stopped working. Well, yeah, the modem just like totally died, I guess. And it's a whole long story. Anyway, we got new internet with a new company. Uh, yeah, it's been a long day. Um, and we also decided to clean the basement uh, because we thought a technician was coming. And our modem's in the basement and the basement is a disaster because it's full of like stuff from the condo that we haven't put away. <laughs> anyway. It's totally clean now, but we're not getting our new internet till Monday. So, yeah, it's been a while, but I'm back. And I've kind of forgot my train of thought with this video, so I just kept going, and I'll tell you what I did. Um, I'm decluttering two more brushes, just so you know, nothing exciting. <laughs> I just never reach for these. This one, I just have so many of the same and this is not like anything special. It's from like a brush set that was literally two dollars for like 13 brushes or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna pass those two on. Um, I kind of cleaned this up a little um, so that's the same but I had so much room here that I decided to pull more products and whatever. I'll get to them eventually. Like I said, a lot of the things in this Shop My Stash are products and projects that are almost rolling out anyway, so I think it will work out fine. So I pulled two lip liners. Actually, I didn't pull any lip liners, so I really needed <laughs> these. Um, this one is... Why do I film in front of here and then it doesn't focus? This is from NYX. It's Nude Suede Shoes. I actually swatched it. It's this one. It's like peachy nude. And then I pulled MAC Etc. Which is this one. So more like a cool tone nude. So that's good because those will go with different... Um, lip products that I pulled. Okay, I also pulled um, another lip product, but I don't know where I put it. <laughs> it was the Item Beauty Lip Quip. Okay, I'm losing my mind. I don't know where it is. Anyway, that brand doesn't exist anymore, but it's basically like a nude lip gloss. <laughs> then I pulled an eyeliner, uh, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil and Torch. So it's this one here. It's a nice, like, warm orangey brown, which would be great for fall. So I'm gonna put that up here. My lip liners. I pulled another highlighter just for fun, and I got another <laughs> Milk Makeup Stick. This one is the shade Lit, and I really like these Milk highlighters, so that's fine, because the one I have right now is more, you know, a holographic color highlighter, so that one's more traditional. And I pulled another palette, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I almost decluttered this once, so this will be a true test if I really need to keep this. I mean, it just so... <laughs> All these shades look the same on the eye, but I really like the formula, so we'll have to see if it's still any good. Um, where am I going to put this? I don't know. I guess I'll put it here. And I, oh, here's the lip product. It was hiding. This is the Item Beauty Lip Quip. This smells amazing, and I remember really liking this, so kind of sad that this brand didn't work out, I guess. 
this is the applicator. If it would focus, um, I'll swatch it. Oh yeah, so it's really sheer. So that'll go with everything. And the last thing, I pulled another blush, a cream blush. It's still in the box. It was in my new makeup drawer. The Profusion Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blush in Bellini. I got this uh, for $5.99 at Winners, I think. And I showed it in a haul. I remember liking it. I just haven't used it yet. Uh, I'm going to take it out of the box. This one. So this is like that new kind of this kind of thing. I think She Glam has it too. That's the shade. It looks really pretty. It's like a nice brownie nude. So this could be really nice for fall actually. I am excited about this. I don't know about the formula, but the shade's pretty. So that's my shop, my stash. Let's zoom in a bit. It's kind of all over the place. <laughs> it's not very fall theme, but I don't know. That's fine. Um, there's a lot of products in here that I haven't used yet, so I want to get my use on those. And of course over here where I keep my eyeshadow palettes, I have my Haunted Europe palette, so that'll be fun for spooky theme kind of looks. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. I don't know how it's going to come together in the end because of all the interruptions, but I hope you liked it anyway. Um, if you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get a straight shot <laughs> for the outro. Um, yes, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!